Welcome to another episode of Demystifying Gay Porn. My name is Ike Grande, and if you watch gay porn, I've definitely helped you get off. And so has the gentleman that is my guest this week for Demystifying Gay Porn, the owner, the producer, and the star of Beefcake Hunter. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Thank you yeah. for inviting me. No problem. Please. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for uh, letting me into your studio. My pleasure. Um, yeah, and just showing me where all the magic happens. Exactly. Yeah. My pleasure. So, um, am I calling you Beefcake Hunter? How would you want to be addressed? Whatever you want, but you, you can call me Beak if Vic? you want. Okay. You have a very, very popular website, mm -hmm. right? Tell me a little bit about how everything started. Well, um, everything started uh, back in 2013. Uh, I was working at a bank. I worked in a bank for 10 years. And <clears throat> while I was working in the bank, uh, I always want to have my own business because I was working in the business area. You mm -hmm. know, my customers were business owners. So I saw different uh, people with different ideas, with different, you know, backgrounds, following their dreams. Mm -hmm. And I was working in the bank, helping them with their dreams. And I, I was talking to myself like, Okay, so I should do something for myself, like, you know, like be independent. And I won't lie, you know, I, don't th I think that most people may have at least once in their lifetime the fantasy of being a porn star. Mm -hmm. And I had that fantasy before I was younger. So actually, um, I, I come into a friend of mine that he was better off. And I told him, hey, why we open, you know, a studio? We do, you know, this thing, you know, I, I do the thing and you... You put the, the, the finances. And um, he was okay, you know, but he never actually, you know, you know, give me, you know, the, the, the help that I need. Mm -hmm. And then I just forget about it. And then um, after 10 years of working in the bank, I have a situation that were very, very frustrated. I want to go on with my life. I want to do many things. And, and things change. And then I feel like uh, I was going nowhere then. Mm -hmm. And I just want to take a year off. From the bank you know i want to you know try new things and then you know i risk everything i just took that year off from the bank and i won't lie i won't say that i i you know i quit the job you know i have this program that they can let you go and then you can go back mm -hmm. after one year to the bank if you want to but they, of course they won't pay you during that year yeah so um i took a year off i have my insurance uh good for six months and I use all my savings for 401k and my pension plan, all my savings to, to start this. Because I, the thing is, actually, I had the money to buy a house, right? And working at the bank, I thought it was going to be easy to buy a house. Mm -hmm. But they actually denied my loan to buy the house. The same bank you The same bank I was wow. working. Okay. Exactly. So I was like, I working for you guys for many years, and I want to buy a house. And you put me all these troubles, I mean, those, these, you know, obstacles. Mm -hmm. And that was like a... Like a, the breaking point, like a, like a, like a, something was like, a, no, I mean, I should put in my efforts and my energy in something else, you know, something that actually is going to work for me in the long term. So I used that time off and the savings that I have. And, um, and then, you know, I told my boyfriend, ah, that was, that was the key because, you know, everything I do, I do with him. Mm -hmm. You know, I consult with him. He gave me feedback because we had tried a different business before and all day failed. I told him this time, hey, um, I want to do this. And I never expected <laughs> that he going to say, oh, yes, let's do that. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. So that gave me like a wow. I, I didn't expect it for him to actually support me in this, you know, because it's kind of like we're a couple, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was like, a, okay, so this is, this is the right thing because it's the timing. I had the money. Uh, he's supporting me. And I thought, what's the worst thing that happens? Mm -hmm. I lose my, my savings. And, but well, I can still going back to the bank, you know. I'm good at it too, you know. Yeah, yeah. I was good at the bank too. So, so yeah, that's how it started, you know. And then um, I had these ideas and then I found um, a developer. And then, you know, I started thinking about the name. How, know, that's interesting to me. How did the name come up? Thank you for asking yeah. because I want to clarify that. Okay. I know that Beef K means muscle guys. Mm -hmm. But I know that now, not back then. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that. You know that beef cake means a guy that's like you know yeah. beefy and strong. Mm. I didn't know that for real, for sure. So um, 
um, when I when I, I contact my lawyer because you need to you know to start this business you need to you know to get the lawyer's help you know mm -hmm. to know all the laws you know regarding this industry mm -hmm. it's very like a minefield yeah right I give him very name uh, different names you had no idea I mean there's beautiful names but for some reason my boyfriend told me Beef K Beef K and I was Beef K Beef K Hunter and I gave that name to my to my lawyer <clears throat> he was like. Oh, I love it. All my staff love the name. And I was like, okay, let's go with that name, Beef K Hunter. So, and then, you know, you do a trademark and all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And once already, until here, with the old process, mm -hmm. when I find out that Beef K means, like, Beef K, for me, it was like, oh, my God. I'm pretty sure I won't find, you know, all Beef Ks. I want to find, like, a regular guys. You know, I want to find some Beef Ks, but some guys, like, regular guys, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And but it was too late to change the name, so I stick with it, and yeah. I think people like it. I think it's great. Yeah, I yeah. think it's great too, and, and I think that actually it's giving a new meaning to the word beefcake. Yeah, beefcake can be anything, and if you think about it, I mean, I get the idea of it being beef, like beefy mm -hmm. men, but beefcake is somebody that you find attractive. Like, exactly, wow, look, it's like it's a like a food. Yeah, you see yeah. Something, oh, wow, I want to eat. I want to eat it. <laughs> so that's for me. That yeah. was for me a beefcake. It's not like a. You know, it could be like a, you know, like an appetizer. But yeah. It's not <laughs> <laughs> so you had help with web design, right? You, because you, let's, you know, I want to clarify this okay. because we mentioned it a little bit before. Mm -hmm. You came from a background that's not porn, anything porn. Exactly. Right. And you just said, hey, I'm going to start my own website. Uh, how easy was it for you to find somebody that does web design? Like to make the website. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy because... Um, like I told you, I tried different business before, mm -hmm. and then uh, I used to have a. I use an application that is called um, I don't remember the name, but the application I find you find everything. You mm -hmm. find like a, you know um, therapists. You can find like a gym instructors. You can find writers, and I look for a developer, right? So I use that for everything. So I try to look for a developer, and most of them, when they find out, it was uh, about. You know, building a porn site, mm -hmm. a game porn site. Most of them give me the back. You know, they say, oh, "No, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I won't be able to do that." So until I finally find somebody that was open-minded enough, a straight guy, very you know, very uh, smart guy. He's very talented. I think he offered me, you know, to to do the website for me. So I had no idea, you know, um, exactly how it's gonna be. And many things that the website has now is because of him. Okay. Yeah. So actually, he, okay, so yeah, he, actually, yeah. the comments part that was his, that he, his idea. He, his idea. Okay. I mean, and, and I was like, why comment? Okay. Well, let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, because you never know. You, you, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I like. I like. I think that I like let people to be creative and give me the ideas. Mm -hmm. I'm open to that all the time. It's not. Like I'm not creative. But I think that everybody has their own creativity, mm -hmm. and you can feed from all that. So. He gave me his creativity. And there's many things and aspects of the business that was his idea that at first I thought, no, that's, I don't want that. But he was like a very, you know, like a, this is the way it is. And, and I went for it and actually ended up working very well for me. Mm -hmm. After the website's developed, you launched in 2015, right? I launched the website in 2014. So in 2014, you Seven launched. years. What was, how did you go about finding models? Like, was that hard? Was that finding no. the beefcakes, hunting these beefcakes, right? <laughs> how, your first one, your first hunt, uh -huh. what was that like? Well, mm. I would like a little personal here. I have an open relationship, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I used to find, you know, guys, you know, to, 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 you know, to have some encounters, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But always I try to find like a, a straight guy, so curious guys, you know, like a, and then it came so easy to me somehow that I thought, like, it's going to be easy. And even some of them, you know, I contact them. Hey, listen, I opened a website. I don't know if you want to just, you know, make some money and, you know. And they were, okay, let's do it. So wow. that's how I start, okay. right? So that was like a, the, the base to start. So mm -hmm. who was your, when you launched the website, who was your first person the on first, the website? Well, actually, the first person that I, I shoot... Is not on the website. Oh, okay. Because uh, I, I was new and I didn't, mo I didn't know much about cameras and everything. And you know what happened? I shoot the video and I know 
I missed the video. You guys miss it. Uh, 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 he was a very good looking black guy, very young, like 21 years old. And we did the video. That was my first video. And I, 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 um, I didn't put, I didn't turn on the mic. Oh. <laughs> Actually, no, hold on. I turned on the mic, but I lost the cum shot. Somehow oh, I lost okay. the cum shot. I don't know what happened. I, I don't remember right now. I think the battery was down or mm-hmm. the ball. Something mm-hmm. happened. I don't remember right now. That was like seven years ago. So, um, I couldn't, I couldn't actually, yeah. you know, yeah. publish the video. You mentioned the microphones and I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been looking down. I've been looking up because three, two cameras, the microphone, mm-hmm. you want to make sure that everything is going well. Exactly. You are in front of the camera, but you're also behind the camera, yeah. right? So you are, before fan sites were, were anything, mm-hmm. you are uh, pre-production, right? Because you do mm-hmm. casting, you find the models. Mm-hmm. Production, because you're setting up everything and then you're getting in front mm-hmm. and actually doing the work. Mm-hmm. And then post-production, because you're editing everything. Yeah. What is your favorite aspect of all of that? What do you enjoy the most in, in making one scene? Wow. And that I mean like from from casting to actually launching it on the website. Okay. Three things I like the most. Okay. First, uh, what I like the most is the interaction with the models and, you know, the before and the after because um, I try to develop like a friendship. Mm-hmm. So that's something I enjoy a lot. All right. That's one thing. The other thing I enjoy also a lot is edition because edition actually, you know, you know, when I do the edition, it's like a, I'm seeing what people are going to see. And I, and sometimes I already can tell this video is going to be loved. Mm. And, I already, and sometimes I do the videos, I say, oh, people won't like this video much. But, well, I still have to do it. And the other part that I like the most is the when I post a video and I see the reaction of the people. Maybe that's the part I, lo- I enjoy the most. Yeah. The part I enjoy the most because... Um, seeing the you know guys the reactions and you know the comments and things that people notice in the video about me or the model or the scene that sometimes not even myself notice even in the edition mm-hmm. so they make me realize you know the idea good job or idea so so job but you know that's something that i enjoy a lot when you were putting the website together did you ever think there was going to be anyone else or did you know that you were going to be the beefcake hunter you knew that you this was your website yeah i thought from the beginning it's going to be me i mean i never thought you know i'm going to be somebody else mm-hmm. like a, if i'm going to do it myself you yeah. know first of all I'm going to, i don't have to pay anybody else yeah. to do what i do <laughs> yeah. right and second um i don't know i think that many of my my viewers feel uh like identify with me mm-hmm. Like a, every, you know, a regular guy, you know, everyday guy, you know, nothing out of the world. And I think that's part of the people like yeah. about it. And they feel because you know what? Sometimes what I tell the models, uh, you know, uh, do, don't be with me in this way because the viewers feel like they are me. And you do that. I don't care, but they care because they, for, they, see themselves like I, they are me mm-hmm. at the moment you know everything's happening so yeah so um, basically um, that's how it works for me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, and, 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 I, and you know what and if I find somebody else like you know like a very young fit looking you can find that in any other mm-hmm. website mm-hmm. right and then many of course I have I'm pretty sure I have hunters that are very fit and young and beautiful Many, all of them are beautiful, but I don't know. But I believe that mostly they feel more uh, identified with myself, like a regular guy, the uh, supermodel, a porn star. Mm-hmm. You know? So let's talk a little bit about the beefcakes. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. you have a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't counted. <laughs> when finding them, what do you look for most? What's the first thing you look for when you're saying, I want this person on the website? That I like them. Yeah, I had to okay. like them. So that's the initial mm-hmm. thing. Uh, what about sexuality? Uh, well, well, I, if you want to go there, I mean, you mean like a, like they're straight? Exactly. Okay. I mean, hello, that's yeah. the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm looking for. You yeah. know, they had to be straight. 
um, you know, and I had to, you know, very, I, I go deep, you know, and ask them, you know, you have a girlfriend, you know, let me see, you know, and all that. And they had to be very masculine and I don't know, something, sometimes it's something I like about them mm-hmm. and that mm-hmm. uh, I just go for it, you know. When they get here, like mm-hmm. the process, right? When they mm-hmm. get here, um, I'm not sure, do you fly models in? Sometimes, yes. Okay, so you mm-hmm. fly models in or they're in the area, mm-hmm. however you find them. When they get to the studio, what's the first thing that happens? Oh, the first thing that happens, you know, is... Um, Besides the paperwork, we got, you know, the, paperwork, the paperwork, the greeting. How oh, you? okay. But All like right. when, when the cameras are on and you put everything up and they might be nervous, how do you, how do you make them like, hey? Well, I never think about them being nervous. I just trying to be nice with them mm-hmm. and treat them the way I, I would like to be treated. And, and, you know, and ask them questions like, a, you know, like a regular question. So, mm-hmm. hi, how you doing today? You know, so I think that little by little, I don't have any plan to, mm-hmm. to oh, let me ask them so they make, yeah, make them feel comfortable. It's just I go the way it's I you. am. It's you. Okay. They, they feel comfortable mm-hmm. somehow, you know. So I guess that something that I had developed maybe or maybe it's natural on me. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, uh, well, if they if they've already stepped into your studio, they're curious. Yeah. Okay. Probably. So yeah. They probably. know what's going to happen. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so how do you talk to models and say, um, well, I want to blow you or I want you to fuck me? How does that like? Cause, well, cause I, there's some I, that... off, I offer them the blood job. Only, okay. And then I offer them, you know, you want to make more money. I mean, it could be another scene the way I blow you and then you fuck me safe, you know, mm-hmm. and then, um, and that's that's the way. I mean, that's where I go. I never go. I, I think I, I make a couple of videos at the beginning. Uh, it was a stray fuck. It wasn't a blood job mm-hmm. scene, and then a fuck scene. And that was because um, at the time, you know, my budget was very little, and you know, they pay me for the blood job was this, and they pay me for the fuck scene was this, yeah, yeah. and they were fuck it, let's go fuck. You know, I need yeah, the yeah. money. Let's go, <laughs> let's forget about the blood. Let's do the whole thing. So, so that's why. But okay. nowadays, you know. You know, I do a little bit more better. I mean, so and uh, so I offer them, you know, let's do two videos so you, you make more money. Mm. So let's do a blood job and let's do a fucking thing. So I assume when you fly them in, you already have spoken to them about one, two scenes, let's say, right? Yeah. Okay. So. At least, I mean, I mean, I, I told them at least one thing. Okay. But I'm looking always for two scenes at least. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, what I'm looking for, but I tell them, okay, you, you can do only a blood job scene, that's fine. Do you, do you get a lot of nervous models? Uh, yes. Yeah, well, the minute the camera turns yes, on. Yes, but sometimes like, I don't, I don't notice until they, uh, you know, stand up and I go and I see the cow, she's sweat. Yeah. Okay. Sweats, like they have been sweating all the time. Yeah. I didn't realize. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my God, poor things. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you with everybody, uh, black models, white mm-hmm. models, Latin models. Mm-hmm. So it's very multicultural. Like, yeah. You, 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 know say, like you don't say no when it comes to beautiful men. With exactly. Every race, right? Exactly. Okay. Beauty is, is every, every race and every kind of person, every nationality. Okay. I don't believe that beauty belongs only to certain group of people Mm -hmm. i feel like that's very important on your website too Mm -hmm. like you absolutely show that that's Mm -hmm. what's going on um before we get into specific models okay (laughs) i want to ask you about uh body parts because you do you you do a whole like massage the legs yeah take off the socks Mm -hmm. right is there any body part in particular other than the dick (laughs) yeah (laughs) that you're like um, I want to go for this. I want, I want to try this. I want to, is it just different with every model or do you have certain things that you like? Well, personally, I love hairy guys. Okay. And I love thick, hairy legs. Mm-hmm. I love that. That's my, wow. But, um, I had to learn and I had learned to find, you know, if somebody is not hairy or maybe the legs are not that hairy, mm-hmm. I always find something in their body that you know i enjoy the most and i try to you know to 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 focus on that Mm -hmm. mentally so that helped me out so alex you had a question one question (laughs) just one one. (laughs) but um uh when i did mention that we were going to do this interview uh alex said oh i know him and i was like what cool okay well you so do you're, you, a, you're a hunter yeah I'm a hunter. <laughs> so i was like do you want to come with me do you want to come and do the interview he's like uh yeah that'd be great so 
Um, I forgot what the question was that you had, but... Well, I, well, I wanted to know, is like, did it start, like, what, the way you record has like a, a procedure to it. Did that happen on its own first? And you're like, oh, I should record this and make something out of it? Like, did it, what, did it, did it start naturally? And you're like, oh, I should record this. No, yeah, yeah. I say, I, I have, you know, um, I set up, you know, everything, and then I know what it's gonna, how it's going to be. And I tell them I, it's going to start like this and blah, blah, like that. But sometimes, sometimes things start developing before actually, and then I, and you know, like and then I notice, and then I have my camera, you start filming. That happens, you know, doesn't happen all the time. I wish I can have that every time. But, you know, being a producer, you also have to be uh, focused in the, te- in the technique, mm-hmm. uh, in the, you know, in the logistic yeah. part. Yeah. And, you know, and that's why, you know, I had to, set up I think I'll have to do this and that so in order to not forget anything so that sometimes you know um prevent me to to do that naturally but there's so there has been so many guys that they are so I don't know they're so natural that and then you know and then I'm surprised wow this guy is so natural let me grab my my camera forget about the script and I start you know following them with them have you seen the Darius Crazy Night video? Oh my God, I have. You I was going to ask you about. I was because you, you <laughs> mentioned you mentioned Harry. Um, uh-huh. I don't. A lot of times I don't think of Latin guys being too hairy, but Darius was the one that was. I was going to ask you. That's the question I had. Uh-huh. Was is there ever any like people that get a little too rowdy? And he was drunk that night. Yeah. He was. Okay. He was <laughs> this guy. And he, I got drunk too. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> this beautiful Latin kid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Puerto Rican or yeah. Cuban or I something, Puerto, right? Puerto okay, yeah, mm-hmm. very, very Latin, just yeah. you know, yeah. with like the song. Oh, and yeah, <laughs> and um, it was, it felt natural, but I remember being like, oh my god, does he have control in this situation? Because I didn't see you, we didn't see a lot yeah. of you until af- afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah. What was that like? Can you explain that? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, give us a little, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was, a, it was like it was a crazy night for real. Okay, yeah. Um. Um, cause that was like the third time you had him. No, that was the second time. Second time. Yeah. Okay. I, I, you know, first of all, to make the first video with him took me months because, you know, he was, you know, I do it. I don't know. Let me, let me get back to you. It took me months to actually do the first video with him. And I didn't know he was that cute in person. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, whatever. So he, he finally called me, Hey, big, I'm, because some guys, they say no to me mm-hmm. and they call me like it. months later. I don't even know who, who is this? I, this guy, oh, so you want to do it now? Yeah, yeah, but I had to do it today or tomorrow or the latest. <laughs> uh, really? Okay, you know, I had to run. So this guy, you know, he, he doesn't live here in Miami, so I had to drive, you know, how many hours. Um, and we did the first blood joy scene, you know, and he was, you know, in person, he was like, oh my God, this guy is gorgeous. Like, wow. And then to convince him to the second scene for the fucking scene, it took me months. Mm. Took me months. So finally he called me, hey, big, I'm ready for a second one. So let's do that. And then I went to see him and uh, we agreed on one hour, you know, and he, he wasn't, he, he didn't show up at that time. But, you know, he showed up, he was a little drunk. He was drinking and all that. So, so yeah, he got a little crazy that night. Um, um, but I thought it was like a unique and very interesting. It was like a, like an original. But I wanted, I want to capture all that, but at the same time, I want to capture, you know, the mm-hmm. blowjob, the mm-hmm. fuck, and the comedy. But somehow I lost control of the situation, and he took control over the, mm. the video. And uh, But I ended up being very well, you know. Um, he got rough with me, and, you know, at some point I had to stop, and listen, mm-hmm. listen, you had to really, you know, calm down, because we had to finish this, <laughs> you know. And we make a, we make a, actually, we make a, we make a, a, a post, and we went to eat. Because, okay. Yeah, you need to eat, man. You need to eat. Okay, let's go eat. Ah. And then I drink. Ah, and then okay. I drink. <laughs> and then I drink. And then, uh, you know, and then I got more relaxed. Okay. And then, you know, I just went along. I just went along with him because, you know, that's a real life situation. I mean, how, you know, it couldn't get more real than that. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> was, that one stuck out out of a, a lot of them. See, yeah. yeah. I, you you, you haven't seen that him. one. You have to see it. Oh no, he'd fall in love with him. It's a uh, we Darius. Well, we have our our types, as you can tell. Ah, okay. <laughs> you know, I want to like, know which yeah. one of your types. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Josué, as we mentioned, Josué, Josué, Josué. Mm-hmm. Um, Papa Cream. 
Papa Cream. What happened? How how on earth? Papa Cream, if you don't know, uh, you did like three uh, suck videos with him and then a fuck video with his girlfriend mm-hmm. and then you had him again. Yeah. How did that all happen? Well, actually it was her idea. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. He, her, her, she has, um, she had uh, this fantasy, you know, about, you know, gay people. She likes to see, to watch um, gay people mm-hmm. having sex. Uh, at least what she told me. I never saw her actually watch. Well, I guess mm-hmm. she saw. Um, and then when, you know, she was the one co- who convinced him to work with me. So when he showed up the first time to shoot with me, uh, he was very, you know, nervous and he was very like, you know, uptight, very serious. And then after we finished, he was like more relaxed and he took me a picture together, like a selfie. Okay. And then he told me, I want to take this picture to my wife because she wants to know you. Actually, she was the one who actually told me to do this, right? Because she, she wants to watch the video. She wants to know which website mm-hmm. she wants to, to have the, you know, the video. So, um, so yeah, I said, we do, I, I told him, listen, it's okay, you know, and she, he told me, ah, I can bring her the next time I shoot with you. No, no, I told him, no, don't bring her because, you know, every time somebody stepped in the studio, they had to sign paperwork and then they had to, um, you know, there's a liability mm. and she's not working with me. She's not doing anything. Why she going to sign something? Mm-hmm. So she's going to mm-hmm. be here. So, so, uh, and then we do the focusing and then the third time that we have a blood joy thing, he show up with her. So I have no choice to actually, you know, be her and everything. She was so sweet mm. and fantastic. She was great. And she was very happy, you know, to meet me and everything. And that way they convinced me to do the video, the threesome. So, so that's why we did it, you know. Okay. I, and I pay her too, you know. Okay. I yeah. pay her less, yeah. but I pay her. <laughs> <laughs> um, you had this guy from Ohio. I can't remember what his name is. I have so many guys from Ohio. (laughs) He he looked... Ohio, I had to go to Ohio. (laughs) Yeah, straight as they come. uh, A little little beefy. Peter? um, Or Caleb? Caleb? Caleb. Caleb. Yeah, you did too. You did a fuck scene with him and you did a blowjob. Oh, yeah, just Caleb. Yeah, beautiful guy. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You did this one that looks a little rougher. Um, uh, You did a couple of videos with him. And he's from Florida. Yeah. Do you remember him? Uh, you did a Christmas video with him too. Mm. He was dressed like Santa Claus. Oh, Kip, Kip, Kip. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it it varies. My my tastes vary. I think yeah. it, you, yours do as well. Like when it comes to the guys and stuff. Yeah. Um, what we've what we've spoken about together mm-hmm. about your videos is your use of feet. You do. You concentrate on feet. You take off the shoes and the socks. Well, well. Um, yeah. I mean. I'm glad you say that, but many people say that I don't really take much, uh, pay much attention to the feet, which is, uh, I think it's true because, um, yeah, I take the, the, the shoes off, but sometimes I let the socks on because I found very sexy a guy ah, with a okay. black sauce. Mm. Yeah. But many hunters, they complain, Victor, you should show their feet. So maybe you have seen many scenes that show the feet, mm-hmm, but there's mm-hmm. many scenes that haven't showed, you know, their, their feet. The only time I've noticed it is when he mentioned it. And then I was ah. like, because then I'm watching and I'm like, oh, so he's doing this now because like, for instance, the mirror, when you introduce mm-hmm. the mirror, I'm like, somebody must have told him one of your members must uh-huh. have said, hey, uh, it'd be really hot to watch this guy's ass while he's fucking you. Because the minute you open up a comment section, it's either good or bad, yeah. and, and you know I think that your 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 hunters are very mm-hmm. on your side. <laughs> they, exactly. they want you to be like show everything. So there yeah. are times where you're blowing the guys, and they're like this, mm-hmm. and you can see the armpit. Is that like when it comes to user comments, right? Yeah. What is the biggest user comment that you get from your videos? Like what what do they say? I want to see more of. They want to. I get a lot of feet. They want to see a lot of feet. Okay. And they want me a lot to, to rim ass, okay. to lick their ass. So those are two things they ask me most. And I think because I don't do that often. Mm. Mm-hmm. The, the other thing, you know, showing their armpits and chest mm. and the mirror and things like that, I do it often. So maybe they don't ask me that much for that. But uh, lately they ask me a lot for feet and, and ass rimming, which I know too much into ass rimming. Okay. And that's, you know, that's not an easy thing to shoot either. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it's not. Yeah, you need like a camera like right here, and just yeah. it's it's not easy. And I can't do that in every guy. Yeah, 
No, no, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm Same thing with the feet. <laughs> yeah, because we, we gay people, we take care of the feet yeah, and our yeah, nails, yeah. but the straight guys, oh my God. <laughs> you have idea, those feet, oh my God. I don't know why the girlfriend don't say anything to them. Like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> some of them are just naturally, some of them do have naturally nice feet, but uh-huh. I get what you're saying. Some of them just don't. They don't, they don't care. care. They don't yeah. take care sometimes. Of their what are yeah. some of your favorite beefcakes that you've seen? I You've mentioned... A couple of oh, them. man, I couldn't remember the names because so I I found out about your your site through through feet. Uh huh. Because it, it showed up on I don't know like it wasn't this bit it was uh, Pornhub or something. Mm-hmm. There was a, an excerpt or a cut of it. Uh uh-huh. It was just the foot part. I was like, oh my god, what is this? And I found out there was more to the video. Uh huh. And then I found your site, and then I would watch it mainly to see the feet and also to see like because the, the way you give a blowjob is uh-huh. very like uh, I don't know how to explain it. You. You make it seem really nice. It's, you you put a lot of attention, whereas a lot of times it's just quick and done. Uh-huh. You're like, no, I want I want it to, the guy to enjoy it, and you, it's like almost like you're convincing a straight guy that a gay guy could give a really good. Ah, uh-huh, okay. And you can see the way you do that that the guy's like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. And it's like it's like gay men's fantasy. Like I want to experience something with a straight guy and uh-huh. show him how good it can be. With exactly. A gay guy. And you do that like. Visually, ah, without okay. saying it, the way you act and things you do, I'm like, uh-huh. I, I, I would do that. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad to you know you see that. You yeah. See what you I'm glad do. to. I'm <laughs> glad to hear that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's like a you know like a viewer uh, comment. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank I, you. And live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No. Once you said he was a fan, I was oh you got to come. I was like you have to because you know a lot of times you put this stuff out there and. You do get comments from people, but sometimes you never know. Like, I'm sure he never comments. If somebody's in my website because they like it. Yeah, so they're yeah. going to comment good things. So. Uh, but some people that's, I don't you know. You can't they, please they everybody. pay to, yeah. to be a bitch. To be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they pay to be a bitch. So, so I just, I, I, it's not like a, I cannot take a, a bad f- feedback. Is that I don't want to, um, I want to, the, the people, because I know the only one reading the comments. There's another people, another viewers and uh, young know, people that watch the comments mm-hmm. i mean they read the comments and then you know i don't want it to go into that negativity mm-hmm. because one negativity mm-hmm. attracts more negativity yeah. right so you have to just call it from the from the root the negativity yeah it's good for you because you know okay oh maybe maybe it's true maybe i have to do that but you don't spread that negativity mm-hmm. it's you know you you are in a position you can choose to spread the negativity or just leave it there and mm-hmm. just keep the good things the good energy going is that what i do mm-hmm. um but yes i receive bad comments too but you know everything is helpful anyways i have a question about uh this is a question that i've been thinking about for a minute i'm pretty sure i know a good amount of the mm-hmm. answer in a world of porn without condoms you have a website that's successful with condoms what was the decision behind hey i'm going to do this website but we're going to do it safe yeah well, that's uh, that. Now you mentioned that. That's another thing that people ask me a lot. When you want to do a bareback, bareback. Um, I just want to be myself, and I don't. I don't like to have sex without condom, only with my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, it's, I don't know. I, 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 I was, when I, the AIDS and you know HIV, you know, pandemic came. I was like a teenager, mm-hmm. and you know, and I wasn't living here. I was living in my country, and you know, and I read those things every day and all that get into my psyche and I was really afraid you know I don't want to get sick I don't want I saw people you know picture people dying so mm-hmm. I thought that the best way to you know prevent that was you know use um uh, you know condoms mm-hmm. and that's the way I have sex since I'm a teenager you know with condoms so for me it doesn't make any difference okay. it's for me it's like a more hygienic and you know if you like somebody you can enjoy it with or without condom. So, um, very well said. <laughs> so, yeah, you're absolutely yeah I right. mean, there's size for that. My size, not for that. Okay. Very good yeah. answer. <laughs> absolutely Thank beautiful you. because, yeah, you know, I think a lot of studios buckle under the pressure of, mm-hmm. hey, I have to make more it's money. Pressure, it's pressure. Yeah, it's pressure. It's pressure is. because some people like it, but, but you know what? The HIV is not the only STD out there. Oh, it's definitely not. So, a lot of people forget about chlamydia, gonorrhea. Exactly. It's right. I respect, you know, I respect, and I'm pretty sure that all these studios are very professional and they test their, you know, the models to do all that. Mm-hmm. But for me, convincing a straight guy to do the video is enough work. Yeah. So now to convince him to do and go and do you know, the full, you know, the full test, you know, if I'm not doing, you know, very bad sex, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be more difficult. Mm-hmm. So, so that, like I told you, sometimes, yeah. hey, I'm ready now. So I had to go. Yeah. 
No time for anything else. <laughs> so you mentioned, I think one of the most tweeted about and just recirculated videos. And when I asked you to do this interview, you said, uh -huh. hey, I'll do the interview. But if someone like Thomas comes around, I, I'm going to go and do that. And I said, hey, do what you got to do. Is Thomas one of the most popular models on your website? He is the most popular. Okay. Yeah. How did, yeah. I don't, I don't really, I mean, to be honest, mm -hmm. when I met him, I didn't know it's going to be that popular. Like, I had to watch his video, like, what? I mean, <laughs> really? Yeah. But I know everybody's favorite is Thomas, and I respect that, you know, and, and that. But um, I expect that to be, you know, to, to him to be so popular, to mm -hmm. be honest. That was, <laughs> you know, crazy. How, it was crazy. How, how everywhere, every, yeah. like, you would see clips, like, I think you cut a trailer for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if it's in this apartment or in another apartment, but outside on a patio. No, it wasn't a hotel. <laughs> Can you, without naming one in particular, what, like, what was one of your favorite scenes to shoot? You have a whole bunch of them, but which one is like, oh, wow, I would love to have him in the studio again. again. Oh, yeah. Oh, you being off camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. It's a hard question, <laughs> right? Because there's, yeah, no, I yeah. think anybody can answer that question. <laughs> and, and okay. W watching some of your videos too, there are some times where I'm like, wow, I wouldn't think that I'm into this guy. Like, like when we, I, I've mentioned him, I don't mm -hmm. know how many times already, but Josue, right? Yeah. Six, four. Yeah. Hairy guy, yeah. Latin. Mm -hmm. And I'm like. Nice cock. Yeah, absolutely beautiful guy. Yeah. He's tall, uh -huh. thick, right? Mm -hmm. Like not like fat, but thick like the mm, beef yeah, that's yeah. a beefcake yeah okay yeah that's a real beefcake. And, uh you <clears> have <throat> yet to have him back for uh an anal scene i've noticed yeah you're we, trying we tried yeah. we tried but he couldn't yeah. he couldn't uh yeah he's he's uh somebody i would love to work again right mm -hmm. um, but um there's another guys that you know when i think about them or the video or when i watch the video saying oh i would like to have this guy again um, one of them was Marco. Marco. Um, does he have the tattoo of the the crucifix? No, that's uh, that's Christian. Okay. No, Marco is um he was a guy that he's a young guy. I love ha guys with curly hair, curly black hair. Mm -hmm. I like that. And he was curly, you know. A, you a, blew him here. And I blew him there. Okay. <laughs> and then here. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was Latin. No, he's no? A, he's um he's American. He's okay. from he, he was from North, from Boston, I think so, something like that. That guy, you know, he stayed with me, you know, in my in my conscious for yeah. a little while. And it's another guy called Chico. Okay. Chico Latino Chico. from here, from Miami. That was the, you know, the that was that was the last minute thing, like that. I'm here, come here right now. Wow. We shoot that, and you know that was at my at beginning. It was a very you know a motel like somewhere in Hialeah, you mm. know, very low. Uh, you know, it like was, a motel. A motel. You know, <laughs> yeah. I had like the video is dark. You see the video is dark. So those kind of guys, Haiti, Haiti legs, uh, black curly hair, you know, thick cocks. Does the guys it stick on my mind? Um, when I watch, sometimes I can't help but notice. Um, uh, they do. They watch porn. You have mm -hmm. you have porn playing in the background for them, um, and then there are certain times where you have videos where you mention the fact that you kiss them. Is it because is it beforehand? Is it something that's spoken? Like I don't kiss. I don't. Oh no no! I never speak. Sometimes I don't. We don't really. I don't really tell them what they had to do. The only thing I tell them is they had to be comfortable and they had to show they're comfortable. If they are not comfortable, they had to let me know. So mm -hmm. we switch or we, I stop doing some things. But it's not like I tell them, I want to do this and that. You have to act like that. Mm -hmm. You have to say that. No, it's just like the only thing I want to know is you are comfortable. Okay. Right. And sometimes things just develop. And I have kids, guys. And... The only times, the only two times that I told the guys I want to kiss you <laughs> was the last two videos with, um, what we, one with, uh, Christian and the other one with Jacobo because. Okay. 
Okay, wait. Where's Seiko? And, Where's and Seiko? I think the a Polish guy too. I forgot what his name is. Oh jo- yes, Justin. actually, actually yes, those three. Yeah. But before that, no, actually, Christian's video, the kiss was natural. Was the at the moment? Mm. So I just went for his mouth and he just let me kiss him. Right. So uh, people went crazy. So okay. So this is the next step for these uh, veterans mm. because Christian has been in my videos for like. 10 times, I think so. So this was like a, the next step, mm-hmm. right? And people mm-hmm. loved it. So I told Jacobo, I told Justin, I want to do this and I want to give you a kiss. And they were, okay, that's fine. So some of them told me no. Real, okay. So, yeah. But uh, you can it, try. You know, you can try. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But mm-hmm. or any other kiss before Christian, it was natural. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, kiss with Reaper was natural. Uh, the kiss with. Um, Darius was natural. Uh, it was something that just, just happens. Mm-hmm. I mean, but besides those two dimensions. Um, is it easier now that you've become a full-fledged studio? You've been doing this since 2014. Mm-hmm. So that's what, seven years, six years? Seven years. Okay, it's going to yeah. be seven years now. Actually, I started filming oh, seven, yeah. 2013. I started filming. Mm-hmm. But actually, the website went live in May 2014. So, so now, that's, that's what I consider the actual yeah. Yeah. Right? Is it easier now? Do models contact you or do, do men contact you now? Yeah, now people contact me too. Really? Yeah, yeah. actually some models are referred for another models and yeah, I have developed some kind of like a business relationship, you know. Yeah. 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 So that's, you know. That's probably easier for you at this yeah, point. Yeah, because right? they, they, they recommend me other guys, you know, and, you know, and, uh, you know, and some people, um, I have some fans, some gay fans, they contact me, hey, big. I know this guy, you know, he's straight, he needs money, um, maybe I want to give you his number, I want to make him contact you, so you, you should have been with him. Okay, send me over. That was Kip. Ah, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, <laughs> thank you, you know who you are. <laughs> he actually dropped him here. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know, it's, thank you. What's next? What do you want to do next with the, the studio? Next, I want to bring new scenarios. I mean, the concept the same, but I want to bring new scenarios. Um, um, I want to travel more around the country, mm-hmm. hunting. Mm. Um, I don't know. I just want to wanna give more to my viewers. I think, uh, you know, I know that people say, some people say, don't change what you're doing. But it's always good things to mm-hmm. improvise and get better. You know, always there's room for improvement. Improvement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crazy. <laughs> right? Did right. you think when you started this that this is where you would be? I mean, I had no choice. Yeah. I had to make it or or make it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. I let I told you I let the bank my, is gone. The bank is gone. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. won't take me after this. <laughs> I don't think no. so. <laughs> what you did the last ten years? The last seven years. Oops. I was doing porn. <laughs> <laughs> but they better give me get me back because I was a good worker. Yeah. I have taken up a good amount of your time. Oh, I'm I, fine having I, a great time. <laughs> good, so we can go all. <laughs> do, you, do you have any other questions that you would like? No. Um, I have to say, honestly, one thing that I would like to see mm-hmm. is more of you. You're, more of me. Yeah, absolutely. You have very beautiful eyes. And Thank you. The camera does not notice that. You know that, right? It doesn't see yeah, you. Yeah, they, don't, they, don't, they don't see it. No. But yeah, um, yeah get, Thank you. you know, you're already there. You're already doing it. By that, I just mean like, yeah, don't, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it, I'm I'm being honest. I just, you know, I want them, you know, to to the scene being focused on them, yeah. the guys. Okay. And you know, just I just want to do my thing. You know, sometimes I want to show more of myself. Mm. I will get to that, but um, I don't want to, you know, make it about yeah, me. I understand, no. but just saying, like, I didn't. You, I would have never noticed unless I was like oh, right in front of you. Oh, you know? okay, in the lights. Yeah, <laughs> the lights are shining into his eyes. I'm like, look at them beautiful green eyes, like hazel. <laughs> yeah, absolutely you. beautiful. <laughs> thank you so much. But um, I have to thank you for allowing us to come in. My here. pleasure. Thank you for yeah. inviting me to your show. Thank You're also interviewing. Thank you. I absolutely appreciate it. You're um, and yeah, we you've been listening to Vic from Beefcake Hunter. Uh, my name is Ike Grande. Uh, this is Demystifying Gay Porn. And if you watch gay porn, I've definitely helped you get off Ooh. and so has Vic <laughs> uh, yeah of course always you've been watching Demystifying Gay Porn I'm your host Ike Grande Demystifying Gay Porn is available on every podcast directory as well as YouTube Demystifying Gay Porn is on X Instagram Facebook Telegram 
And if you like what you're watching or listening to and want to be a part of the creative process, head over to patreon.com backslash demystifying gay porn, where you can help support this audiovisual podcast and YouTube channel, and I can continue making content like you've just enjoyed. Once again, this is Demystifying Gay Porn. My name is Ike Grande, and if you watch gay porn, I've definitely helped to get off. Cheers. Cheers.